guys, welcome back. So I'm super excited today to show you how I built this bookcase. It's really awesome and I'm gonna tell you some of the things I love about it. Uh, first, we have this awesome big deep drawer down here, which would be perfect for games, puzzles, stuffed animals, toys, you name it, you can put it in there. And then another thing I love about this bookcase is that you can adjust some of the shelves. So I built it so that you could put shelf pins in this section, this section, this one, and then this one. And you can adjust the shelves however you like, whatever's convenient for you. So the bookcase comes with the four shelves and you can adjust it however you want, just like that. And I mean, it'll fit craft supplies, office supplies, if you want to put toys in there or books. I've got a lot of books and that's what I'm going to put in here. But it's going to save my life in organizing, especially during this online school that we need to be doing for the crazy 2020 year. So keep on watching if you want to see how I built this. One, two, three, come on. This project took three sheets of plywood, a large dowel, and some wooden plugs. For two of the sheets, you'll want to cut them into 13 inch long strips if that is how deep you want your shelf to be. I started this project by taking my 13 inch long strips and measuring and cutting them down to all the lengths that I would need for the whole base of my bookcase. I ended up with two vertical shelf dividers, two rooftop pieces, five horizontal shelves, and two vertical shelf sides. This is a handy jig that I have that I use basically to measure where I'm going to drill my holes for shelf pins. I make sure to measure and know where the top piece is, and then I use a pencil to mark these holes on the board, and then proceed to drill those, drill those holes with the drill press. I then do the same thing on the opposite sides of the board. The two pieces that I'm doing here are the vertical shelf dividers. I use that same jig to mark the shelf pins for the two sides of my bookcase and I also took scrap pieces of plywood to measure where I was going to put my horizontal shelves. I made sure to label everything really precisely so that there wouldn't be any room for error. These lines that you see here are the placement for the horizontal shelves where I will be using my router to cut the dados into the board so that I can just slide the shelves in. Using a straight edge, I marked and prepared for cutting those grooves or dados into the sides of the plywood. I did this both to the two sides of the shelf, the left and right side, so that I could put my horizontal shelves in. And I also did it to the bottom and top of the horizontal shelves so I could put my vertical divider um, partitions in as well. And here is everything all ready to be put together. Uh, what I did was I did a quick dry fit on the ground to make sure that everything was laid out the way that I would want it to lay out. With the dry fit done, I went ahead and took the left and right sides of the shelf and I cut a 90 degree angle along the top side so that the rooftop would be able to lay flat against it and I could drill and screw the rooftop into the shelves without any problems. I first assembled the horizontal shelves with the vertical partition by putting that vertical partition in the dados that I had cut and then uh, pre-drilling and countersinking screws in on each side. I also checked for square on all of the corners and I glued the inside of those grooves to allow for a good adhesion.
With these two center shelves glued and dried together, it was time to put everything together, which was a little difficult because it's such a big shelf. But just very carefully, we uh, put everything together. We make sure to glue all of the grooves and to make sure everything lined up uh, well and square before screwing everything in together. And then we had to add our final fifth horizontal piece to the bottom of the bookcase. While I was waiting for the bookcase to dry, I decided to work on the drawer for the bottom of the bookcase. And this is where the third sheet of plywood comes in. I pretty much just used pocket holes because it's the easiest and quickest method that I like to use for something like this. And I put together my drawer. Next, I took the drawer face and the removable shelves and gave them a coat of paint. I used a square and pocket holes to attach the drawer face to the drawer base and then began to work on the rooftop. I screwed the two pieces at a 90 degree angle and laid them on top of the bookcase till everything was flush with the top of the angles and I marked a line where I wanted to cut those for how much overhang that I would want. I then took those pieces apart, cut them at the right lengths and then put them back together and screwed them to the top of the bookcase. I also went and plugged all of the holes so that none of the screws would show on the whole shelf. The legs were really simple. I just got a really large dowel piece and I cut down five pieces that were about four inches. At this point, the whole bookcase was finished and I just needed to put a couple coats of white Bond Poly on the whole shelf so that I would have an easy, clean surface to wipe down and to give it a good protection from anything that my children would like to throw at it. So I have my five legs that are just cut from the dowels and the way I am putting them on the bottom is I am measuring three inches down, three inches over from the side, and I have pre-drilled my holes. And I'm just going to drill a little hole down the center of my dowel, just to kind of give me a starting point. So then, I'm gonna put in my screw. And once it pokes out a little bit, I can stick it in the hole that I made on the dowel and hold it in place while I screw it in. Well, we and I countersunk it so that the screws weren't poking up from here because this is where my drawer is going to be so I don't want to hit the screws. And that's how I did it. So then I installed the drawer and I used my laser level and a tape measure to measure where I wanted my handle to go and pre-drilled those holes and put the handle on. This was a really large project and I had never done dados before so it was a really good experience. It was also my first time using my drill press to try and drill little holes for shelf pins. But honestly, I learned a lot. I love it. It is a great organizational tool for school and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, if you want to check out some of my other videos and builds, I also have the rest of this room on my channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.